Rudimental etude number three incorporates the five stroke roll, the nine stroke roll, and the single paradiddle. So if you've got those rudiments worked up, this should be fairly simple to you. Let me go through a few practice suggestions and tips before I play this entire etude with the metronome. First practice suggestion is when you're working it up, take four measure phrases at a time. Don't try to work up the entire etude in one big long phrase. If there is a combination between the rudiments, maybe it's a paradiddle into a roll or a roll into a paradiddle, anything that causes you problems, stop and isolate just what causes the problem. Maybe it's just something technical that you just need to work out. Take it very, very slow. With a metronome set on 60 beats per minute, just go through each measure to make sure that you understand the stickings. Okay? The stickings are very important. I should say that if you don't do this etude with the, with the stickings, if you leave out the stickings and you just play it all right hand lead or something, then it's not even worth playing. Don't even bother. Stickings are absolutely necessary for this etude. So, all the way through the etude, you're going to see accents which are supposed to be played at a full volume level. For example, in the first measure, quarter rest. And each one of the accents is played as a downstroke. You should not have any tension in your hands while you're playing this etude. Second of all, the, occasionally you'll see a quarter rest. Whenever you see a quarter rest, you need to look ahead to see if there is an accent that follows. If there is an accent, basically you need to use the quarter rest as a prep for that accent. For example, when I'm going from measure 3 and 4 into measure 5, on the rest I lift up my hand in preparation for the accent of the paradiddle. So if there is a quarter rest that doesn't have an accent that follows, so like the second line, rest, you shouldn't lift at all. So that will help out along the way too. Make sure that you tap your foot and sometimes it's helpful to count out loud or even say the rudiment as you're playing. Alright, let me play straight through at 80 beats per minute and you'll see what it looks like using double stroke rolls. Ready, go. Quarter rest. Quarter rest. Lift. Pair a did do pair a did do tap double double tap double double pair a did do pair a did do tap double double tap double double pair a did do and rest and and rest and one and rest and one rest double 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 tap rest double double tap double double tap double double tap Double double pair a did do pair a did do repeat double double tap double double tap double double tap 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 double double pair a did do pair a did do tap and there you have it at 80 beats per minute. Now you can also speed the tempo up and play it with multiple bounces. Rest in, rest in. So you can also play all of those five and nine stroke rolls with multiple bounces. All right, so pay attention. Watch yourself in the mirror while you play to see whether or not you're perfecting all of those techniques because in any rudimental etude, it's not necessarily the notes that are important. It's the stickings and the correct uh, techniques that are involved with all of that. All right, so once we've got that rudimental etude worked up, also work out the coordination exercise and the uh, playing in 6-8 time signature, you should be able to play all of these along with the accompaniment CDs. Once you can play along with the accompaniment CDs and you can play those perfectly, then you're ready to go on to lesson number six.